just like let me just get ready for the day. Shark cup? Is, is it in there? Can I see? Oh, it's not in there? Let me see. Is it in the wash? Oh, this one? Okay. Okay. You want me to give you a hug? No. Uh -oh. Kiss. Uh -oh. A glass of milk. Good morning. Peter forgets his water bottle every single day for school. <coughs> but we're gonna get Ava ready for school right now. Breakfast made and I'm gonna drop her off and then I'm actually gonna go do like a nice slow walk at the gym to get out of the house because I have a dentist appointment for the tooth that fell out. The cap. Um, and the dentist is right there. So I was like, oh, I might as well just do like a 10 minute slow walk after I drop her off and then go there instead of like just coming home. So that is the plan, Sam. I dropped Ava off at school. We had a rough morning. Do you ever have one of those days where I just feel like my makeup looks like crap today? Like, and the reason why I put makeup on before the gym, because I know people are gonna ask that. I normally don't because I'm a sweater, but like I sweat a lot and I sweat from my face. So if I'm gonna work out, like I don't put any makeup on at all, like no mascara, nothing, because it will like melt off and I will look worse with it on. But because right now, since I'm still only, technically I'm only like three, Thursday will be four weeks and it's Monday. So I'm still only three weeks um, post tummy tuck. So I can only do slow walks. Like that's all. And then at four weeks, my doctor said if I wanted to add in like stationary bikes, I can, but very slow, like nothing, like not like Peloton workouts, like very slow workouts. So I don't so wet at all at the gym right now. So that's what I was trying to say. So, but I have like a bunch of things I told you earlier after the gym I have to do which for some reason they just went in and out of my brain. Do the dentist, I had a couple of errands I need to run. I wanted to, I, had to, I wanted to check my PO box. I had a couple things. So I was just like, let me just get ready for the day, you know, early before I bring Ava to school. Which, holy meltdown. Like, she just had the biggest meltdown because she got Play-Doh for her birthday. Sorry, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the robe. She got Play-Doh for her belt at birthday and she wanted to play with it before school and I told her no because I was like, you have to go to school. And I was like, mommy, I have things to do today because sometimes like if she's like, I don't know, sometimes I'll just be like, whatever. Like she's in daycare. So she only goes a couple days a week, not that long. So I'll just be like, whatever, just stay home. But today, like I needed her to go because I have a bunch I need to do and get done. And like I have, I, she won't sit at my dentist appointment and I have no one to watch her, Dave's working. So she had a full on meltdown over the Play-Doh and I thought we got it like calmed down. I was like, okay, like, woo, like we're gonna play with it after school. And then I asked her to put her coat on and it was like complete meltdown again. So then like Dave came home to help me get her in the car cause still can't pick her up. So we just like get her in the car. We didn't even put her coat on, like the car's already warm. School is like two minutes away. And then she has a, what she also didn't want her coat on and then had a complete meltdown that she didn't have a coat on. And she was like, I want my coat freaking out. And she loves school, like absolutely loves it. Acts to go every single day. So I was just like, Ava, it's okay. Like you're gonna go to school. You're gonna have so much fun. I don't want to go to school. Like freaking out, never says that. Hold on, you might fall. And so I was just like, holy crap. So I dropped her off and she was like clinging on to, cause then Dave met me at the school. She's like clinging on to Dave. Finally goes to her teacher, like hugs her teacher so tight. Also, Ava's her teacher's favorite and her teacher has told us, our babysitter, everyone multiple times. So um, 
she's just like hugging her and the teacher's like she'll be okay don't worry and I'm like I feel terrible like I literally got in the car I'm like I'm gonna cancel my dentist I have to go back in there and pick her up I'm in the car for two seconds and I get a text from her teacher and it's Ava sitting on the ground laughing with her friends playing like playing with blocks I was like are, are you kidding me like I'm over here with such mom guilt like I can't believe I sent my daughter to school crying and she's just having a grand old time I was like thank you I was said to her I was like I literally said are you kidding me and then I was like thank you so much for sending that I feel so much better now but it's just craziness so now I thought I was gonna have time to go to the gym, which I'm still gonna run there because like the little, the manager at the gym, um, Ava's teacher just texted me again, but I don't wanna read it because I'm like at a red light and we're gonna start driving soon. Um, the manager at the gym was talking and I worked with Nutrafol in the past, which is great if you have like hair thinning, hair loss, um, any things like that. It's, it's something great to look into. They have for men's, for women's, for different things but it blocks the DHT, I can't think of all the words because it's too early. But she was telling me, she was like, oh, I know you're a hairstylist. I just had some questions um, and I told her, I was like, Nutrafol, like I've worked with them in the past. I think they're great, I recommend them to my client. And I was like, I actually think from when I worked with them that I have some left over. Um, so I promised her that I would drop it off. So literally my gym sesh is just gonna be me dropping off her hair products and I'm gonna go to the dentist but not that maybe I can do like a five minute walk <laughs> if even that so my morning you know this is mom life your morning just gets thrown through the roof <laughs> through the loop oh my goodness I gotta go I gotta go <sighs> there's the UPS driver my boyfriend my boyfriend see him do you see him out the window right there <laughs> explain to me how I am sweaty from just walking at the gym. I mean, I do have my binder and my sweatshirt on the whole time because I just feel weird walking in like this binder thing. Um, but I gave the girl that works here, she is so nice. I just feel like me and her are gonna become friends. The Nutrafol, and I was talking to her, but now I have to, and then I'm like, yeah, I have to go to the dentist because my tooth fell out. I'm like, oh, well, there goes that friendship. Like, why am I so weird? I don't understand it. Um, this gym is freaking beautiful, but I am gonna have a built bar. Where did it go? Oh. <laughs> On the way because the dentist tells me I can't eat for like an hour. I will starve to death Which is really dramatic because it's 930 but, You know some of us are just eaters So and that's usually what I do. I usually start my day with a built bar and coffee and then I will have like a real breakfast around like 11 it just works for me with like the craziness of the morning but on to the dentist which I need to put in my DPS because even though it's two minutes away from my house I have no clue where it is and I've been there twice already so mom free I just got back and oh from the dentist and my I was just talking on my Instagram stories but my mouth is numb so I don't know if you can see that this side is completely numb, but I just fixed my hair a little bit um, just to feel a little better about myself. I'm in the same outfit because like I said, I didn't sweat, but I got some packages, so I figured we'll do a little unboxing for you. Because I personally love watching unboxing. I don't know that. I always forget. Oh, my girlfriend recommended these. Why is this dirty? Um, these, oh wow, they're so cute. These body suits from Amazon. She said they fit really nice too. I have to say, I'll link them in my storefront. The quality is really nice, like the material wise. Definitely like substantial where I feel like it would hold you in in all the right places. I am so excited to try these. I shouldn't have unfolded them so I could take a cute picture, but we'll just put those over then. My obsession with Built Bar continues. I love Built Bar. So, oh, I forgot, I got the Caramel Brownie. These ones I've had in the past. They're such a good flavor, so I wanted to get these again. I don't like the chocolate chocolate, but I love the Caramel Brownie. I forgot that I ordered these. They had like a special on them too, which I don't know why, because they're such a good flavor. I hope they keep them on there, so. What did I get? 
It has a little gift card in here. That's cute to share with friends. Okay, all that stuff. So the meals I got, I tried to get some like different ones that I don't normally make. Wait, there's supposed to be three. Is there only two? Maybe I only did two. I could be going crazy. I think I only did two now that I think about it. <laughs> don't mind me. So I did the Chesapeake style shrimp pot pie. Just because it's something different. And my son lately has been like, mom, I've been dying for pot pie. So I was like, all right, let's just try this. And this one, hot honey crispy chicken with, so, with sweet Dijon Brussels sprouts. Like, does that not sound freaking amazing? And they put everything in it for you together. So it's all the meat at the bottom. So I think that'll be so fun to make and do. Where's the shrimp? Where's the little shrimp? Oh, they're in there. <laughs> okay, where's the little shrimpies? So I'm excited for that. Um, my son's been saying like he wants to cook a little more and do like some cooking at home. So I figured that'll be something fun. Like I, this is easy for him to be able to just open up the packages, follow the instructions and cook a meal. He's going to be 12. So he's definitely old enough and I'm obviously going to supervise. So I just thought that'd be like a fun family thing. And I like desperately needed to switch up our menu. So that's exciting. I have to go through this gift card. All right. I need to eat something. I'm just waiting, <laughs> waiting for the feeling to come back in my face. I just went in for, I'm still doing the Z-Wave appointments, so I just went in for that. I'm like all over the place today. Um, I got an iced coffee before and literally chugged it, an iced latte. My, my mouth is still numb. It is so frustrating. I can't even like do that. <laughs> um, but I got an iced latte, the same that I always get, iced latte, oat milk, or iced blueberry latte, oat milk, one pump of French vanilla syrup, and Splenda, because I like it sweet, so don't judge me. But I'm still doing the Z-Wave for my tummy tuck. My gas light's on. Oh, I hate getting gas. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm still doing the Z-Wave for my tummy tuck, so it's like a form of lymphomatic drainage massage. I mentioned on here before it's kind of like I think it's like a laser or like pulse it, it like pulses on your stomach so I just went to that appointment and now I'm heading home Peter's having a friend over so I'm not gonna like film too much at home just because it's his friend and I know I have more packages out front I don't know what it was but I'm gonna have Peter carry it and there was like when I was leaving of course I was late but there was like a huge box, like a huge box out front. So I'm gonna have him bring that in because I like can't carry it, obviously. But yeah, we're heading home. I'm hoping, like I really hope this coffee kicks in because I'm so tired. I don't know why either. I think, I think I'm getting my period too because I have like a pimple right on my face and I like, usually I'm lucky. My skin is pretty decent. I more or less worry about like, fine lines dryness wrinkles like discoloration but like acne and like pimple wise I'm pretty good where like I don't really break out that much but of course all of a sudden and then like can you see the difference like I am so pale because I have not self tanned so like that's embarrassing I was looking in the mirror and I was like I need to like get new makeup or like I'm just counting down until I can like self tan as like stupid as that sounds like I should be focusing on other things but oh it's either I invested new makeup or just waited out with this Too Faced it's like being back in middle school again I forgot that I was filming but we just got home from the park with Eva Sloppy Joe pasta with ground turkey. Yeah, ground turkey, sloppy Joe pasta. And they sneak veggies in the recipe. So there's mushrooms, carrots, and onion. And I've actually made this in the past and it came out from what I remember. I think it was really good. So I just ground those. And then 
These are the onions. I think I showed when I got the food delivered the other day. Don't have like actual garlic, so I'm just gonna use this. Three clove garlic. Let me turn the light on. Okay. The... You're doing a great job. Some vinegar, Worcestershire sauce. Is it in here in the fridge? This is a fridge. Eva, do you know that Daddy has not eaten since Saturday? We got that going. So then stir together until the vegetables are softened. Water, tomato sauce, and diced till. Okay. So this one's really good. So pretty much you just brown. I will put it on the screen too and the, the link in the bio for the actual recipe. But it's Emily Bites. So pretty much you ground the turkey, you add in your vegetables, you add in your sauce, and then you add in the pasta at the end. So it's like a one skillet kind of thing. And then it all boils together and it makes a ton. So it's like a great meal prep. And it's a good one like to get the veggies in for yourself and the kids. So I'll let you know what Ava thinks. Because I don't think I had Ava last time I made this. Nope. Right? Nope. I haven't made it in a while. But I was looking up Sloppy Joe. I actually had a different recipe. And I was going to make like actual Sloppy Joes. And then I was like, wait, where's that other one? And I forgot about It's Emily Bites blog. And I made a couple of things from her site. It's really good. Yeah, emilybites.com. All right, here's the final product. It looks so, so good. It smells amazing. Look at that. Filled with the veggies. It's high in protein and then some healthy carbs from pasta. Actually, I don't know if that's healthy carbs, but whatever, all the things. Veggie, protein, carbs, all the goodies. We can do it. Yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. Is it so yum? Mm -hmm. Mommy's gonna have some too. Okay. Ow. What? Two Just two. Will you? Oh, you think is that your happy dance? <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> you like pasta too? I love pasta. It's probably one of my favorite foods. Are you putting it in your plate? Yeah. Mm, yummy. Yeah. Cheers. Pasta cheers. No. <laughs> no pasta cheers. I'm not going to touch your pasta. Don't you worry, I got my own pasta. It's good. Thumbs up. <laughs>